Hello my dear view viewers, good day everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Evelia Sadulio, the owner of this channel. A teacher and profession who loves to do video tutorial. And to this tutorial will focus on making or designing letterhead using Microsoft 2016. Okay, let us open the software. Just click blank document. And first thing to do is to uh, determine the layout of your band paper. You have to change the orientation, make it portrait. You also need to change the size of the band paper. I think uh, you can use A4. You can also use other size i will be using letter and uh, margin will be changed also i will customize the margin i will make the utmost smaller than the bottom and the left and right side so this one will be one inch so as this one and this one okay there we set the layout and then Next is to choose the font style that you're going to use. So I will be using here Mahandra. It's up to you, whatever text you want. And the size, I'll make it 12. And use it the text at the center if you want it to be at the center. You can type the word. Or you can either insert using the uh, word art. So let us have both. We will change that later. So let us have first the the first one. We will type it first. Should be capitalized all. Okay, you can have that one. Then after that, you can set the address. For example, this is the address. Okay, then you can include the telephone number if there is. Okay, just an example. And you can also include the fax number. Or you can have the cell number of your company. It's up to you. So let us also have just a sample. Okay. As you notice, the the lines between is not the space properly, so I will change the spacing. So I will make it one and I will remove the space after paragraph so that the distances will be uh, not so large enough. So as you can see, we have very small letter for the title of the company. You can make it bigger by, by using the insert word art. So instead of that, uh, you can uh, use the word art for that matter so that it will be uh, bolder and uh, with colors and design. So we will select which of this. So you can have this one blue and you can recolor that much darker color. Let us see this one darker blue and then don't worry if it's not the center. We'll just move it later on. Okay, that's it. And then just click and you have to type, okay, type the name of the company. Let us have 
I think I was not able to okay the color, so I change later. Okay, so that's it. So as you see, it's so much uh, big in size. So we can resize this one. Okay, just highlight the text and then go home and click this one here so that the size will be smaller. And then you can just move this one in your desired. System. So the goodness, if we will start writing the the address you can set the the company's name properly okay then you can recolor again because we did not successfully change the color of the company a while ago so i will change it to uh, you can change the thread Oh, that's it. I think much better. So I'll use the red one. And since it's bold, if you think it's already enough, you can also have the blue color. Is that good for you? Or you can have the blue color. Let's see the result. It will be dark colored blue. Okay, that's it. Let's see some other designs so it will be very oh that's it i think that's better than the previous one so it's very bold and good to look at you can have that one you can just move it upwards so that the address can be seen properly okay that's it and not center at all so you have to move it right there okay that's it and after that, you can now include or add the logo, insert logo by clicking insert and picture. Uh, make sure you know the file name or if not, you can just scroll it down. So let us say we'll just scroll it down if you don't know the file name. But if you know the file name, for example, that one, I can determine the first, even first uh, word you can already found it Then just click it there and then insert okay as you can see we have so a uh, large picture and then our letters and font a while ago has been uh, moved to the other side so what are we going to do is to format this one so starting from here the layout option so what are we going to do you can just adjust the text wrapping uh, here you can have behind text or in front of the text i think it's better if you will have behind text okay that's it and then you can resize this one just move the cursor to this side and then click and drag and then stop until you want the size and then you can move this one around, just click anywhere as long as you can see that cross sign and then move to the desired place that you want. You can have it here in the right part. Okay, you can also have it in the middle. So if you will have it in the middle, you can also have that one there. But it will be, or it will distract our uh address and the number although we can have some coloring but it's better to have it on the right side and left side okay okay that's it and then just click outside and see if it's already good if you think that's already good or you can move it upward so it will be uh the same in distance with that of the envelope yeah, I think like that. Let's click outside. Okay, that's it. And uh, you can put some horizontal line that will separate the the content with the letter head. So there are two styles that we can have. First, just click shift and the minus sign, and then you stop if it's already. Full, then just click blank and enter I have it there so you can have that one or 
if you had some coloring, uh, you can click insert and uh, you proceed to shape. And then, of course, you need to use this one, the line style. Then just click and then make a line. The goodness of this because you can you can change the color. Okay, that's it. So how are we going to change the color? You can have here this one. You can have any color that you want. And you can also change the shape effects. You can have this one. You can have the outline. Let us have this one, the shape outline. Okay, let us have the weight or more lines. So we want it, it to be compound type. Okay, you can adjust it here or you can adjust the color to much darker blue. Or you can have lighter or dark or any other color. So it will fit your desired color. You can have that one and then I will increase the size so that we can see the actual design so you can choose which among the the size uh the size the desired type okay so that's it this one okay this one so as you can see we cannot visibly see it make it uh, parallel Okay, make it larger so that you can see or you can decrease the size in order for you to be visible. <clears throat> okay, there. Okay, begin our size. Okay, so we do not want that arrow, so we can have that one. Okay, if you are already certain of that, you can either remove this one, the line, kanina, or you can use this one. It's up to you, or you can mix that too. How are we going to mix this two? You can just make it closer. Okay, you have it there. Okay, and so, my dear viewers, we are done with our project. You can have your own letterhead uh, design provided, you know, the basic of a Microsoft Word. I hope you will like it. And do not forget to subscribe at the bottom of this video. And uh, please uh, look forward for my other view videos in the future. Thank you very much. See you on my next video.